Renaissance era lute and viol, depicted in a detail from a painting by Francesco Francia. Early music generally comprises medieval music and Renaissance music, but can also include Baroque music. Originating in Europe, early music is a broad musical era for the beginning of Western classical music. Interpretations of historical scope of early music vary. The original Academy of Ancient Music formed in 1726 defined ancient music as works written by composers who lived before the end of the 16th century. Johannes Brahms and his contemporaries would have understood early music to range from the High Renaissance and Baroque, while some scholars consider that early music should include the music of ancient Greece or Rome before 500 AD. Music critic Michael Kennedy excludes Baroque, defining early music as musical compositions from the earliest times up to and including music of the Renaissance period. Musicologist Thomas Forrest Kelly considers that the essence of early music is the revival of forgotten musical repertoire and that the term is intertwined with the rediscovery of old performance practice. According to the UK's National Centre for Early Music, the term early music refers to both a repertory, European music written between 1250 and 1750 embracing medieval Renaissance and the Baroque, and a historically informed approach to the performance of that music. Today, the understanding of early music has come to include any music for which a historically appropriate style of performance must be reconstructed. On the basis of surviving scores, treatises, instruments and other contemporary evidence. The Akademie for Alte Musik Berlin. Modern performers of early music in the later 20th century there was a resurgence of interest in the performance of music from the medieval and Renaissance eras, and a number of instrumental consorts and choral ensembles specializing in early music repertoire were formed. Groups such as the Talis Scholars, the Early Music Consort and the Taberner Consort and players have been influential in bringing early music to modern audiences through performances and popular recordings. The revival of interest in early music has given rise to a scholarly approach to the performance of music. Through academic musicological research of music treatises, or text editions of musical scores and other historical evidence, performers attempt to be faithful to the performance style of the musical era in which a work was originally conceived. Additionally, there has been a rise in the use of original or reproduction period instruments as part of the performance of early music, such as the revival of the harpsichord or the viol. The practice of historically informed performance is nevertheless dependent on stylistic inference. According to Margaret Bent, Renaissance notation is not as prescriptive as modern scoring, and there is much that was left to the performer's interpretation. Renaissance notation is under prescriptive. By our standards, when translated into modern form it acquires a prescriptive weight that overspecifies and distorts its original openness. Accidentals may or may not have been notated. But what modern notation requires would then have been perfectly apparent without notation to a singer versed in counterpoint. Thanks for watching.